mobility is a human right. Mobility is something that you take for granted on the day to day. It's not just about hopping in the bus or hopping in your car. You know, it's about walking from here to the kitchen. The big thing with our device is that we can help a lot of people, and we want to do it in a sustainable way. We're at the Skydeck Accelerator in Berkeley, California. We have a working space where the Evolution Devices team gets together and we make some prototypes. Berkeley Skydeck is UC Berkeley's startup accelerator and incubator. I've known this team for quite some time. They came to Skydeck when they were really just a couple of guys and an idea. None of the successful founders in the world are driven by money. Money is the outcome, but they're driven by a vision that they're determined to bring to the world. Oh. <laughs> yeah, normally the hole's on this side, so that way when it gets pulled, it doesn't just work. The name of our device is the EvoWalk device. It helps people with walking problems, specifically from neurological walking impairments. It times where they are in their walking cycle and activates their muscles to kind of help them rehabilitate and regain some ability to walk. There you go. Do you want to feel it? Yeah, try to turn it on. Yeah, I feel it. You feel it? Yeah, I feel it. it. Looks like it's working. The brain is signaling the muscle to move, but in people with foot drop, that signal is being lost. By understanding the way the person should be moving, you can hack the nervous system to move the legs the way you want it to move. The complicated part is to train the machine learning algorithm to be accurate enough that it helps the device stimulate the, the subjects. The risk is obviously people can trip and fall. So what we did was we have our machine learning algorithm to make sure the tracking is really accurate. How can we condense all of this like complexity into something that looks really easy to use? It looks important. We have blue as, as part of our logo, but then I also kind of want to explore the idea of like a skin tone, an earthy tone. There's people who want to stand out, who want it to be like a fashion accessory, and then there's people that want to hide it. This can have a huge impact on the world. The device is going to read where you are when you're walking. In this case, it'll send electrical impulses to your muscles uh, so that it can activate them in a way. Since it's canceling out those spasms, you're going to be able to retrain and remember how to walk without the simulation. <laughs> right. My kids would love this. <laughs> it gives me the uh, hope that I'm going to regain my ability to do things I love, you know, to hike with my kids. It reopens a whole new dimension of, of, of things I can do again. How's it feel? Much better. Timing is actually quite good. Nice. <laughs> this is a major relief. No hands. My dad, he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis a little over 10 years ago now, and he started to develop a walking problem. I was tripping and falling a lot. When you cannot move, your life is very limited. I learned a lot about how the brain works, and I liked to build a lot of stuff and hack, so we all started with the first prototype to help my dad get a little bit of that walking back. I started trying it. I feel safer when I walk with the device. This thing gave me some freedom again. I don't have to worry as much about him. He can do a lot of the things that he needed other people for. He's doing something good for everybody. It's going to give us this opportunity that you know we already have had by being one of these five finalists, but it's going to take us to the next level. It's going to be amazing for us and the future of mobility.